Hi, I'm Angela V. Shelton. And I'm our very best friend, Francis Callier. And we are Frangela. And welcome to Frangela's, what is it? Idiot of the week. Wee, 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 wee. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It's, kinda, it's like a little Sammy Davis. Yeah. <laughs> Just on the side. Yes. Um, this is from Greg O. Oh, thank yes. you for submitting an idiot mm -hmm. to us through uh, Frangela.com. Yes, and you can also submit idiots to us at Frangela Duo at Facebook and Twitter. And we read them and we... You could be here in the army. In here with us. In the army of the anti dom. Yes. The Greg, long time, long time friend and fan. Thank you. Yes. This is um okay. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll, I'll Chicago. This is Naperville, Naperville. Illinois. My where I hail. Not from Naperville, but from Chicago. Uh okay. Man stabbed for drinking alcohol alcohol out of the wrong glass. He drank beer from a wine glass and got stabbed. For drinking beer. Yes, right. Say it again. Say yes, it again. right. He got stabbed for drinking beer out of a wine glass. People. Now, here's my thing. In in the defense of a stabber, mm -hmm. table manners are important. They are. You know <laughs> okay. what? It's what separates us from the beasts. <laughs> People. And apparently, the stabber <laughs> wanted well, you know to communicate that to the stabby. All I'm saying, it is not an accusation, is I need to know that Martha Stewart has an alibi for this night. Because <laughs> this sounds like something Martha, I believe Martha Stewart would stab you for using the wrong glass. If she came into your, her living room and you were like, you she would be like, ah, 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 and the Kill Bill sound, right. and then she just... I could see Martha Stewart doing that. Rachel Ray would let it slide. She would. She would. <laughs> but Martha would kick your ass, and she's been to prison. Right, but and you know what? This is Rachel Ray slums. That's, I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> she probably drinking beer out of Tupperware. Is that right? No, I don't know. <laughs> I really. But this is the Naperville Police Chief uh, David Dial said. I've had a lengthy police career, and I've never seen anything that made less sense. We okay. Here's my thing. Mm -hmm. There's been so many stabbings. Yeah. I don't know if you've been paying attention, but we've had yeah. a stabbing thing yeah. every day for the past yeah. week. And, yeah. And, and, We've people. We've got to take that moment. Do we have to? Do we have to start treating our homes like the airplanes? Can can we only have plastic knives at home now? Well, clearly, or I, I guess so, Angela. Because this is my thing. It's like you you can't stab nobody for drinking. They, what, what if he didn't know? What if he honestly didn't know? Should shouldn't your first course of action be like, here, let me change that cup for you? Well, this is, I mean, I can't handle. I can't handle. I, you need to be. I need for this to be okay. You, your your last name is Lennox. I need you to have dishes be right. really important. Okay. It's not the Holy Grail. It's just it's a not, cup. It's just a cup. It's just a cup. It's just a cup. It's just a crab fork. <laughs> it's just, it's just you don't have setting. to lose it. You don't have to lose it because they're no. using that salad fork at dessert. Yes, you don't, don't have to. You, don't. you can say no to that rage. Or, yes, okay. Next up. I'm going to move on. D.C. Washington, okay. D.C. Um, a third grade math teacher, <laughs> I believe it's fi it was fired. Yes. Uh, for an interesting assignment. Yeah. Uh, she sent home some homework. Yes. This math, mm -hmm. remember. Um, and these were some of the uh, questions they, that alarmed the parents. It's a mandatory 20 homework problems included uh, such story problems as, quote, I was sleeping one night when a hungry vampire sucked 3,652 liters of blood from me and 1,865 liters of blood from my little brother. How much blood did the hungry vampire drink that night? Yeah. That's kind of violent and weird. Right. And this is for third graders. Yeah, Remember yeah. that. But then it gets worse. Yeah. Yeah, she asked. She literally asked questions that were like, "How many Africans, Americans, and Indians to would it take to bake in ovens for Thanksgiving?" That was a recipe for termination. To get her fired. To get her fired. Because so that was the question: was how many African Americans and Indians could you bake in an oven? Yeah. Then um, another one. My three friends and I were caught and tied up by one thousand twenty-three screaming cannibals in a jungle last night. Soon we were feeling terribly itchy because of the mosquitoes. Yeah, that happens. Uh, you know, it's, it's a nice detail in the middle of a story problem. Yes. Uh, we begged the cannibals to scratch us. That's freaky. Yes, that is. <laughs> Begging a cannibal to scratch you? Yeah, Why yeah. can't you scratch each, scratch each other? Right, right. Isn't that like making yourself on a moose bouche <laughs> to the fucking cannibal? Um, so we begged them to scratch us. 219 cannibals refused because right. they were busy cutting vegetables. Right. The rest of them, however, surrounded us in equal numbers and began to scratch us with their teeth, just like dogs. It felt good. How many scra cannibals scratched me? See, there's there's a there's a thing at the end there. It Angela. felt good. <laughs> I got I'm I'm stopped that it felt good. Uh, I, that's not even a part of the math. No. You don't even need that. That I enjoy no. being scratched by cannibals with their teeth. I know. There's I don't understand. 
Well, she all she got. She apparently said that she got these off of a Christian, um, you know, one of those uh, homeschooling uh, websites. This is my problem. You're not at home. I know. You're at school. And that's the curriculum <laughs> that's been approved. I mean, you don't have to make up stuff. I know. And cannibals, they scrap. It felt good. You know what? I, what this sounds tells me is that we need to take a look into homeschooling. I don't know what's going on. I also, I want to look in her freezer because I think she eats people. Yeah. yeah. But she got a little too crazed in the cannibal story. A little yeah. too, like, understanding the cannibal's point of view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're cutting vegetables. I don't know. Do they That's do any kind of background check on teachers? None. Okay. None. And finally for today, I like this story. Florida. You shouldn't. <laughs> we got this from Admiral Robert M. You shouldn't. Okay. Just in the times, this happened for Valentine's Day, but we still like the story. A Florida judge ruled that a man involved in a scuffle with his wife. That's called her, domestic violence. Yes. Treat her with a, to an evening at a local bowling alley and a romantic meal where... At the Red Lobster. Because it don't get no le- more romantic than Red Lobster. Yes. Nothing says, baby, I'm sorry I beat you like Red, Red Lobster. Lobster. This is what I'm like, you know what? The judge was like, you know, it was a very minor beating, I guess. No, he strangled her. He, was, he strangled her and threw her on the sofa. And he said, well, he hasn't gotten in trouble before. Right. So you know what I'm going to do? And this is literally, this is a quote. He's going to stop somewhere and he's going to get some flowers. Yes. And then he's going to go home. He's going to pick up his wife, get dressed, and take her to Red Lobster. And then after they have Red Lobster, they're going to go bowling. Yep. That's not how we deal with domestic violence. Well, that's how Judge John Hurley does. Judge John Hurley is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, and, and Red Lobster? I'm going to need more than that for a beating. You know what? I'm going to need what? more than some grocery store have flowers. You, have you had the cheesy biscuits? I haven't. I st- I, you know what? You're going to have to hook me up with some Olive Garden <laughs> too, maybe the next night. Or, you know what I mean? Or um, let me order a la carte at Fridays. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Maybe. I'm Frances Callier. And I'm Angela V. Shelton. We are Frangela. And thank you for watching another exciting episode of Frangela's Idiot of the Week. Week, 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 week.